Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, everybody. Hello, I'm back. It's the 17th. I finally finished. Well, it's not finished, but basically finished what I can do in terms of this. This is my concept art. So it's a little bit more than uh, what Tamika was asking for in Scrap the World. And sometimes I'll do that. Like with this, I took, I had the idea to take it um, to the next step to see, you know, I'd I thought about an idea or concept behind doing these treat bags. So this is, I was thinking of what if there's an exclusive sort of urban chic jewelry line called uh, Urban Candy and they had a annual or semi-annual or whatever kind of jewelry release and it was supposed to be, you know, this big thing and you know, what kind of girl would, would buy that kind of jewelry, and she would be, you know, city smart, uh, chic, funny, uh, you know, outgoing, energetic, streetwise, all that kind of stuff, got a little flavor to her, and she would be the ideal person for this treat box. So this is a standard, um, What do you call those? Flat rate box, um, as you can see. And I, I decorated the front with like some brick, a brick wall. We see a lot of brick walls in the city, of course, and like concrete tenements and apartment buildings. But some of the bricks are gold, and it's to show tongue in cheek that there's value even in the ghetto, in the hood where a store like this would probably be located and where people probably think nobody would like luxury items, but they would. So that's the front. And then I did like a window looking into the the house or a room of somebody who would like this. And it's a, you know, person who's, you know, they got books, they got fancy art. And you'll see that's that first pair of earrings that I made. I was going to make it like you could raise the window up and take the earrings out, but I was like, yeah, and that's doing just a little bit too much. So I just decided to make it art on the wall. And then here's the reveal of that painting that I did. So you can see I ran it through my brick embossing folder to make it look like wall graffiti. And we got the gold bricks carried over. I think it came out really nice. So the different gold elements really sparkle, and I love it. I think it's just really cool. So, and one of the cool things about this box is that, you know, the little light turns on in the house, and there's, the scene isn't too developed in here, so just it's just a cute little extra. And now I'll show you the inside So you open up the box and here's the packaging. Of course the box is unfinished on the inside because it's just a piece of concept art. But it was a fun piece of concept art. And so I created four treat bags even though we only had to do three. But I was again thinking of this in terms of a concept project. And so I made a suite of... of um, things so this is the packaging for the bracelet you saw before and here's the little charms that I painted they're on there now it says fly girl and this bag has uh, some iridescent paint painted on it like bricks and then it has spray painted quote unquote the word bay which I painted on there and I put some tiny little flat back uh, crystals and a couple of heart rhinestones so you had to put three em three embellishments so the three embellishments are here I got a word tile I got this um, car key charm and the, these lips that I made and then I added some extra bling 
and I the and the extra char uh the extra thing you could do was add paint or texture paste or whatever. So I just painted like a brick pattern. I don't know if you can see it because it's like iridescent, subtle. And then I just spray painted the word Bay because it's supposed to be urban. It's got graffiti. It's got you know city is is super colorful, loud, lots of words and noises. Uh, just you know attitude. So I tried to give that to the packaging. This one, I did it with the reddish paper, with the gold brick pattern, and this one is spray painted. It says bougie, and it's got some paint flecks on it. I painted this with the blue paint and then these are the charms for this one you see the shades the car key and then this one says no limits so with no you know in capital so when you know your limits you have no limits that kind of thing and I saw a young lady do this bag crimping on the bottom of hers it came out really cute so I did that on mine I did have some kind of uh, mishaps with the scissors though this one I did them upside down so it looks like jagged instead of like curved and then this is the third the other one so these are the earrings that I made I just put them in this box uh, bag I used that same brick pattern and this one's spray painted it says blessed and this one I made and here's the purse charm the key and this one says put some bling on it you know so um, and then this one has sparkle on it so the bag has bling on it and uh, yeah, I had trouble with my you know shape scissors up here kind of gnawed the paper but that's okay so um, I think I did it too soon while it was like still a little bit wet and then this is the final one this is the necklace and as you can see I made the bag shaped like you know cleavage um, so you can see the necklace like you know so it can look like the necklace is on a person <clears throat> and here's the tassel and there's the key and the her word tile says who gonna check me boo and then I put some little crystals on her too on here too and I put little crystals on all of them so one last look at this packaging I think that it would be such cute packaging for like a trendy urban upscale line and I looked online there is a company called Urban Candy so and I think it is a fashion line but this you know I didn't know that when I thought of this so this is not for them not to infringe on their company name or whatever but this is just for a fictitious company that I thought of called Urban Candy that does you know jewelry for the urban young chic you know set so that's one last look So this was a super fun project, even though I took it into a different direction. People might be like, well, why would you even do that? But like I said, sometimes if I get an idea like, wow, what if this was instead of just doing treat bags, why don't you do a concept project with this? If I get ideas like that when I'm working on something, then I'll just if I can, I'll just flow with it just to see what 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 I can come up with. I like being creative. And so, yeah, so that is that. And then plus the cute little box that it all would come in as like a suite of furniture. I mean, uh, <laughs> not furniture, jewelry. All right, let me know what you guys think of that. And I'll see you in the next video or the next challenge. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of today's special minis. I'm here with my project share for volume 5 of It's a Link Party with Tamika from Scrap the World. And the what I'm about to show you is uh, the, the challenge was to make treat bags.
So this is not the treat bags. I figured if I'm going to make some elaborate treat bags or even treat bags at all, I'm going to make something to <laughs> go in them to show them off and display them to their best potential. So I came up with this idea of, of what if I was designing jewelry and it was an edgy young company called Urban Candy. How would I, you know, design packaging and jewelry for that line? So it's a fictitious company in a fictitious line, but I decided to, you know, this is how I do, this is how I, you know, work out my creativity for these kind of things. I have to put it in some kind of a context. So I decided to make a couple of paper bracelets and these are the bracelets. Now these are, like I said, made out of paper and I'll show you. Sorry if I bumped the camera a little bit. I did a three layer um, design. So one, this is made out of recycled paperboard as you can see, the nutrition label on the back and some thin cardboard in the middle, glued those all together, put two eyelets or grommets, whatever you want to call them, and then use some natural like string to make the bracelets. So this one, I just painted it with gray, white, and brown and gold streaks. So I don't know if you can see the metallic nature of it. The flowers, the flower in the middle is made out of index cards. I just cut a one, one inch circles and stacked them two deep and then just cut petal shapes out of them. Then I put pink flat back crystals in the middle, two gold eyelets, and I used some glow in the dark uh, beads that I had. And this necklace I made to have an adjustable clasp. So you can fit a you know, you can adjust it to your size wrist. Now it won't fit mine because I wasn't making it to wear. I'm just making it for this project. It will fit my sister though. And on the back, this is signed and dated flower bracelet handmade by Pia Shante one of two. I made this on May 11th, 2019. Again, I made these just for this project. So if they look slipshod or whatever, it's just for this project. Now this was flower bracelet number two that I made on the 11th. And this one is this is that natural string and I used those glow in the dark beads as well as well as some like blue sparkle beads and some gray sparkle beads now these flowers came from these recollection flowers I had I've had these for like years and never used them and I'm like well why am I not using them and I didn't want to use them this time but I'm like well what else are you gonna save them for so I decided to go ahead and use them just use two and so uh, what I discovered was this actually fits on my ankle. So this could actually be an anklet because it's, you know, you tie it yourself and you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. So I wish I had done that before I made it because I would have put a uh, flower anklet instead of bracelet. And then I would have had an entire suite. What I'm going to do is do bracelets, necklace, and earrings. So that's the two paper bracelets. This is a pair of earrings I made for the set. I'm, I think I might make a different set because uh, actually I glued this one down because I was like I really don't need to make two real earrings but I, I might go ahead and make two two real earrings anyway just to be consistent because I made the bracelets and they're usable but this was just going to be you know display because it's, it's this stuff is not going to anybody nobody's gonna you know what I mean so let me show you this is not a, you know, this is made out of yarn <laughs> and just a metal thing looped on the back. So it's just to give you an idea. This is just something to put in the packaging. So if this were real, this would be a very expensive diamond earring. It's got little heart diamonds, one, two, three, four big diamonds, and then it's got a ruby to sort of simulate a caterpillar 
on a flower. So if you can't tell, this is supposed to be kind of like a flower. And the flower is blue and edged with gold. So that would all be like 24 karat gold with gold prongs and all of that. And then it would be the earring to match, except the only difference would be with the second one is there wouldn't be a ruby lay bug on it because, you know, you don't need to. You don't have to have everything matchy-matchy like that. So this is how I was going to display this pair of earrings. But again, I might do another set and just have like full set of earrings even if it's made out of paper but you can see this is made out of manila folders and there's a brad on the back holding this stuff together so these are not real nor were they intended to be real so that's that and this is some of the charms I am making. She wanted us to put at least three embellishments on each treat bag. So I just used some tool and made like a tiny little tassel that I might use. And I made this pair of shades. And for this, I just used a die to cut out the glasses because... I'm not going to fussy cut anything that small, but to make the metallic lenses, I use this deco foil. Now, I've also had this for years, and the only thing I used <laughs> was a tiny little square off of this, this little square right here, to make these shades. That's all I've ever used of this, so I may start to use this. And um, then I painted... This set of cute lips and I also made these four car key charms I made this out of mirror board and uh, I just used some decorative edge scissors to cut the decorative edge on there. And then when you cut, you cut it off, you get that little shape, as you can see. You know, these are thinner, but that's where I get the shape from. I just cut, cut these really thin and then put them on there. I don't know if you can see that. Can't wait till I can afford a... 4k camera or something or some better lighting then I just painted the little you know car stuff on it and I made those out again of this recycled paperboard so I don't know if you know you guys have clocked onto it by now but I make a lot of my things by hand I don't have a whole lot of dies and stuff like that but I but I have some stuff but I kind of I, I like for some reason, I don't know, I like making stuff. So, uh, you, you might think that looks tacky or whatever, but I, I like it. I like putting my own handmade touch to things. When I probably, you know, can afford super expensive stuff, I'll make, I don't know, I'll use more tools and stuff like that. But I, for this, and you know, I kind of like being creative. I was thinking, man, I, you know, for this ur urban candy line, you know, a, a cool charm would be a car key but I don't have a die or anything for that but I don't need one I can make it myself so I did I like the lip the kissy lips so I made them myself I painted it myself so um, I have the necklace to make possibly another pair of earrings I don't know but the reason why I'm showing you this now is because when I unveil the packaging and stuff like that I'm not going to go through un packaging everything and, and showing you so I'm going to show you from the start and then when I do the challenge part I'm just going to show you everything in its packaging all right so I'll see you when I finish the necklace definitely and if I have another pair of earrings maybe but then after that I'll show you the full packaging for the challenge okay bye okay hey everybody I'm back this is May 16th, 2019. I just finished the last part of the bags and the stuff that is supposed to go in them. So I'll run through that real quick. I was supposed to show you the necklace. And then I did decide to make another pair of earrings. 
So these are going to be the charms for the necklace. So these are my three embellishments that I made. I made the little tassel out of tulle. You saw the little car key. And then each one also will have like this word tile. So for the, <clears throat> the necklace, it says, who gonna check me, boo? And if you don't know <laughs> what that's from, well, well, you don't know what it's from. So the pair, the um, earrings are going to have this, the little car key, a little purse charm, and this one that says put some bling on it, you know, a la, if he liked it, then he should have put some bling on it. So I'll show you the necklace first. And keep in mind, don't judge my necklaces. These, the necklaces and the earrings and stuff, the stuff going in the bags is not the thing. Okay, the thing is the treat bags. But I just decided to put something in it. Okay. So this is what I made. And it has like a little charm dangle. So, again, this is not anything fancy, as you can see on the back. <laughs> this is just made out of just um, paper. And I signed the back, and you can see the masking tape construction on there. So, it's, there's nothing, it's not, it's not, you know, you can't give this to somebody. I just used yarn <laughs> to make the necklace part, and then I used some of those glow in the dark beads just to add some some beaded elements on it because if it was like for real I would add some matching beads I put this little dangle charm from an old earring that I had and then these are just patterned uh, like pattern papers from my color book uh, old color book paper collection that I had and I just edged it with some distress ink, put a couple of rhinestones in the middle. The white flower, I did use an embossing folder on to, to put some dots on. And I just put a flat back in the middle. And then this one, I just, this is the Tim Holtz Tattered Flowers die. So I just used the two smaller ones. The smallest one and the next to smallest one for all of these flowers. And then I just kind of like glued them onto the string with some you know I cut out some circles from some index paper and just glued them on the string so the little flower I just made like like stamens almost just uh, you know how when you make t uh, tassels or whatever that's what I did for the center of that and then these two I made with the smallest flower and I have some of those um I'll put it back here let me get them if I can I'm sure everybody has some of these I happen to have a lot of them but you know those little wheels of tiny rhinestones that you get from these I got from eBay years ago and luckily they had like they have like three blues three pinks you know they don't have three greens or anything like that so I used the three blues to make this flower it's almost like an ombre and three pinks to make this ombre one so I thought that was pretty cute and it didn't take forever to do it so that is going to go in one of the treat bags and then I decided to do <laughs> I guess I I don't know I got addicted to doing the rhinestone earrings so this all of these flowers are the same two flowers the small one and the next to the small one uh, on the tattered flowers um, die by Tim Holtz sorry and so I just put a flat back rhinestone in the middle, a, a big one, and then I just built the tiny little ones around it. And for that, I used this one, which just has all clear crystal little ones in there. So that's just to give you a good look at them. 
and again they didn't take that long to do and then I edged these with some um, which one it wasn't vintage photo it might have been tea dye or walnut one of those so I thought this was cute and then so I had to create another set of packaging for these and these have real posts on them but um, in order to you know I used real posts um, but I'm going to in order to make it fit in the packaging I'm just, I just bent it bent it down so it, it wouldn't you know otherwise it's just a sharp edge that sticks out so there we go uh, when I come back I'm going to show you the different packaging okay bye okay hello uh, I'm coming back with just a quick update to kind of show you okay now I'm working on another part of packaging this design and this is an image that I saw on uh, Google Images and then I just decided to re create it because I thought I thought it fit with my design so it's not my original painting but I just repainted it myself so as you can see these are all the colors I used Uh, and these are all apple barrel paints so you don't have to buy expensive acrylics and stuff like that for you know if you're just you know playing with stuff and then a couple of these are some testers uh, and then this is my mixing pad so it doesn't look like a lot but what I did was I put a little napkin with water uh, just to make it moist to keep the paints damp because they kind of dry out really fast and then I put dots of color of the ones I wanted to use and I don't need to mix on the palette because it's supposed to be like graffiti so I just dabbed and mixed right on the paper uh, so so you're supposed to see the rough lines and there's no need to really blend it's supposed to be kind of like graffiti art and then what I'm gonna go back in and do what is that oh, blob of paint what I'm gonna go back in and do um, just like it's on the picture there's there's really like jagged black lines around everything and then some you know scribbles and things like that so that's what I'm going to do and I'll kind of show you that later and here is the final piece it's still drying but I put the finishing um, scrapes and scratches and other marks on it so that kind of just pulls the picture together and makes it even look more like graffiti so once it's dry, finishes drying I will sign it and then finish making the packaging so this is going to be a bit longer of a video because I'm showing you all these different things in parts but hopefully everything will come together in the end and you will enjoy what I created for this challenge some people probably will say it's a little bit over the top for this challenge and especially since I'm not sending this stuff to anyone but for me it's just fun it's just uh, you can see I've been painting on my hand I use that as a palette as well as this thing so I just use whatever I have at the time could be my hand could be a piece of paper or whatever so hope you like this and again this is not my original image it's just an image I saw online that I decided to paint now another thing is again I told you guys if I want you know full color images that don't come out of a magazine I have to paint them myself because I don't have a color printer that works at this moment I have one but it doesn't have ink and actually it's not the kind of printer I want to have a can Canon uh, Pixma or whatever it's called but I would rather have a, a HP uh, inkjet and laser jet actually because I just think HP has better quality prints so if I had a color printer I would have printed this out I wouldn't bother painting it but it didn't take me that long um, it's May 16th I've probably been working on this for about I don't know 30 40 minutes so if that maybe not even that long so there you go